Hello. In today's video, I want to show how we can set up a static IP address to an Ubuntu 20.04 server. So as you probably know, usually the Linux server will get its IP from the DHCP server, which is usually great. But the thing with DHCP is that there is no promise that the server will always get the same IP. And since the server usually provides some kind of service to the network, accessing it would be much easier if it retains its IP address. So we always know where it's going to be found. And that's why instead of using a dynamic IP address that is allocated by the DHCP server, we can configure our Linux server to always use one specific IP address that we define ourselves and is not going to change. So I'm already logged in to my server via SSH, and let's start by taking a look at the network interfaces of the server. And we can see that this server has only one network interface, ETH0, and its address is this. Now, as I said, this is an address that was allocated by the DHCP server, but we're going to replace it with a static one. We're going to need the exact name of the network interface, so let's write it down in a temporary text file. And let's also write down the IP address. We need to know that Ubuntu has two different mechanisms to handle network configuration. There is Network Manager, and then there is Network D. The desktop versions of Ubuntu usually use Network Manager, whereas the server versions usually use Network D. So a good first step would be finding out what your machine is using. To do that, I'm going to take a look at the NetPlan configuration of the server. And as you can see, we have a YAML file here. Let's see the contents of this file. And there are some lines here, but what I want you to notice is what's lacking, what's not here. And that's the word network manager. Let me know SSH and other Ubuntu machine, but unlike this machine, which uses the server version, this other machine uses the desktop version. And we can see that in the desktop machine, we have this line. Renderer Network Manager. It doesn't mean that the server cannot work with Network Manager, and it also doesn't mean that a desktop computer can't use Network D. Both of them can use either one, and all that's needed to switch from one to the other is editing this YAML file. But that's what we have by default, and it's mostly a matter of using the most suitable tool for each scenario. Now, in this video, I'm going to focus on static IPs on servers that use Network D, and I'll leave a link to another video where I cover how to do it with Network Manager. So let's get back to our server. I'm going to base off a website that's dedicated to NetPlan, and that's netplan.io. So I'm here at netplan.io, and under examples, we can see that the first example is how to use DHCP, which is how we are currently configured. And indeed, we see that the example on the website is very similar to what we have on our server. The following example is about assigning a static IP. Let's start by copying the example. Notice that spaces do matter in this file, so try to keep them as they are and not mess them up. We need to make sure that the network interface is what we actually have. As you can see, what we just copied uses ENP3S0. So we need to replace it with the interface we have. The next thing we need to update is the address. And here we're going to specify the IP address that the server is going to use. We can use any address within the subnet mask 
but I'm going to use exactly the same address that was dynamically allocated. The reason I want to keep using the same IP address is that if I would pick a different one, my SSH session would break as soon as I would apply the changes. Since I want to keep my session active, I'll keep using the same address. By the way, the 24 after the slash defines the size of the subnet mask. The subnet mask is determined by the router. And in a local network, it's always going to be 24, which means that the first 24 bits or the first three numbers are fixed and will always be the same. The fourth number specifies the specific host within the network. So even if I would want to use a different IP, I could only change the fourth number. We can also specify the gateway and name servers, but I'm not going to do it, so let's get rid of it. Let's save by Control S and exit by Control X. Let's now get back to the main page of netplan.io. And in the bottom of the page, we can see the commands. We're first going to run netplan try to see if there are any problems or errors. And we need to press enter before the timer runs out, otherwise the network configuration will be reverted. And to apply the new configuration permanently, let's run netplan apply. Let's run IPA again. And we can see that the network interface still uses the same address as before. But now we know that it's static and it's not going to change. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.